Yo, my YouTube family. Um, welcome back to the ghetto park, so you know what that means. Tutorial! Should I teach you guys how to use the finger? No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do a jam whip. Foot jam whip. Mr. Whippy. Whatever you call it. Um, yeah, so it's a really cool trick. Um, quite technical, but super easy really when you just commit yourself to it same as everything in life as we know um, but yeah boy uh, I'll see what I can do and I'll show you some stunts hope you enjoy so guys pick your weapon as you can see I am on Pegasus um, and yeah so foot jam whips I think they're better than put jams just like that. Uh, I don't really do put jams that often, but put jam whips are way cooler than put jams anyway. I'd start by just learning like this, just jumping off and doing that. Literally, start, jump off and do that. Pretty simple. It's not a toe jam whip, it's a foot jam whip. If you're on a mountain bike, your toe can get sucked through there and, uh, well, decapitated, if that's what you can do to a toe. Don't do it, it hurts. It'll pull your toenail right off. So if you're gonna do it, stick your foot in sideways. Like that, get a bit of toe in there. But it's a foot jam whip, not a toe jam whip. So try and get your foot sideways, it'll give you more control as well. And when you hop out of it, if you've got your toe in there, sometimes it gets stuck. Um, which will result in tragedy. So yeah, start by doing that, and then you can slowly start just spinning it, like that. Literally, just like that, guys. Just jump off, spin. And then you go from there, to jump off, spin, foot, like that. I don't even know if I'm in shot, but hopefully I am. So yeah, keep doing that until you can do it and keep your foot off the ground. Uh, and it gets easier and easier, I promise you. It's just repetitive. It's just like doing a test. You learn the answers once you know the answers. You can't, you can't unlearn the answers, can you? Well, I suppose you can if you're weird. I mean, we're all weird. But yeah, start like that and then just like that. It is just like that, but um, yeah, just start, kick the wheel, the bike starts going round, uh, and hop off the wheel whenever you want. And I find, don't aim for the pedals, because it's quite a target. If you can, aim for the cranks, because you won't really miss the cranks. Like motorbike pegs, feet in the middle, slide way back to the pedals, it looks cooler anyway. I don't like a tidy jam whip, but yeah, that doesn't really help. I don't think foot jams help at all really with a foot jam whip. So don't think that you need to be good at foot jams to be able to do a jam whip. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool and when you get it, you can, you can do it anywhere. And it's uh, a proper party trick, showstopper. There's not many mountain bikes that do them really. So come on guys, learn them. It's a cool ass trick. A little tip when you're doing your jam whip is uh, as you go forward, obviously uh, you feel like you're gonna go with your handlebars and sometimes the bike will firmly spin and hit whatever you're whipping into. So a good way to do it is as you're leaning forward, try and stick that leg back. Not like a sailor, that was not cool. But yeah, stick your leg, your jam whip, stick your leg back and it pulls the front end back up, the front end, the back end, if that makes any sense at all. And once you start to learn the balance on the front wheel, you can then lower your leg or steeze it, whatever you want to do to make your, your whips look cool. But, or even put both feet on the, on the wheel. A double foot whip, they're always fun. Go opposite footed if you like, a little bit harder, but it all works as long as you've got that balance point. Hop on the wheel, lean backwards or forwards, keep that bike 
perfectly on that pivot point. Stir that whip round. Woo! Jam whip, baby. Believe it or not, it's uh, actually pretty hard to do foot jam techie whips on little banks. Uh, it's probably better for like the flat bank over there or a nice grass bank is perfect to land foot jam whips. Or the flat ground, I think a, on a bank is easier because the momentum of going back down as you finish your whip, it's just easier to land than on flat ground. You land stopped, you wiggle around for a bit, try and get your pedals right and then pedal away. But on a, on a hill, you land and you just roll away. So if you're gonna do them guys, I mean, when you do them, send them on a little hill, on a little bank, a little, little driveway, it all uh, it all counts, but yeah, dude, learn them on 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 grass banks. That's where I learn them. Whoa. Yeah, Mr. Whippy coming up. I uh, hope my tips helped. Um, if you send them, they will work. You just gotta have some fun, play with it. Um, I'm gonna call it quits now. Just gonna bomb around the skate park for a bit, get my laps on, and uh, go and adventure somewhere else, go find some nature. But thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, it means a lot. I'll see you soon. Tag me in your foot jam whips, guys. Yeah, boys! From me and Peggy, we'll see you again tomorrow, or later. Uh, cheers. <laughs>